Benny and Suzanne, I'm deeply moved by what is happening here. This is just too wonderful. And I feel when I sat there, I just felt as if a river of the balm of Gilead is flowing across the world from here into millions of broken marriages. An impulse for healing and renewal. What is happening here is too wonderful to describe. And I think it's wonderful also to celebrate here Holy Communion in the name of Jesus. May I be allowed just to say one or two lines? What's on my heart? You know, speaking about the perfect marriage, a perfect marriage requires a perfect husband and a perfect wife. And I tell you what I think a perfect husband is. A perfect husband is the one who doesn't expect his wife to be perfect. <laughs> and the perfect wife is the one that doesn't expect her husband to be perfect. But both have a perfect savior. Amen. And his name is Jesus. Wedlock is a lock. Because the clause in this contract is till death separates us. But wedlock is not padlock. It's not the jail. It's a paradise. It's harmony. It's fulfillment. And I believe that you will enter a phase in your life that will radiate these very qualities. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. God planned the first wedding. And you know how he planned it? He first created the universe. Then he created the earth, the animals. Then he created Adam and Eve. And then he rolled out a green carpet for the first couple and then he beckoned them and he said he wanted to bless them they didn't know what blessing was that word i think they had never heard before it was god's invention and right now i believe jesus is beckoning you to his table to bless you your marriage your family your children your grandchildren those you have and those you shall have <laughs> glory to God and that brings us to the table of the Lord first Corinthians 11 Verse 23, for I have received from the Lord that which I also deliver to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke and said, take it. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. We will do that in a moment. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood this do as you drink it in remembrance of me if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship one with another and 
the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from every sin. Fellowship with God is possible, but only by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus makes this type of fellowship possible. And if you want to glue two objects together, <clears throat> the two surfaces have first to be cleansed and cleaned. And then the glue will hold. I believe with all of my heart, the blood of Jesus has done its wonderful work in your lives and in all our lives. Today, you will become glued together with the super glue of God's love. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. So I believe celebrating the Holy Communion is such a symbol in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I would like to serve you the bread. Amen. Lord, I want to thank you for this wonderful bread, a symbol of your body broken for us, broken for my dear brother Penny, for my dear sister Suzanne. We thank you that we can eat it and that it becomes part of it. You have a part in us and we have a part in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And in the same manner, he gave them the cup and said, drink a new testament in my blood. The new testament, the new covenant. This is so special. And it will solidify in your lives, in your marriage, in your family and home. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Oh Lord, we praise you. Let's praise him. Lord, we praise you. We praise you for the miracle that you have done. Thank you for this immense miracle of remarriage. Thank you, Lord, that millions of marriages across the world will be affected as a result of it. Healing shall flow from this moment across the globe and around the globe a million times in Jesus' name. And bless each and every one present here in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody shout Amen. Amen.